So it started off uh, a bit precariously with the post office and it's not getting any better. We're having a nightmare with water levels. We didn't think we'd uh, have an issue around here. We thought it would be more as we get through the locks in Birmingham. But yeah, we're in the middle of the canal and we are scraping the bottom. We've been grounded in the middle of the canal. Um, it's just not happening. And because we're sitting low in the water, we're now dragging up all the debris off the bottom because all we're doing is traveling through tree cover. So there's logs. We've hit logs that are the size of your legs. It's... Uh, Nightmare. Yeah. Um, and we've got another probably, or oh, the rest of today, and another two days. And uh, we spoke to Alan from Starcrafts. He's in front of us, uh, ahead of us on his on the journey because they're going to the same place. And uh, he says it's even worse up there. So there's possibly even a chance we might not even make it to the festival if the water levels don't let us. We'll see. So, that behind us that you've just seen, that's the guillotine lock at the start of the Stratford Canal. Just in front of us now is Kings Norton Junction, where we're going to turn right and go up the Worcester and Birmingham. And that's going to take us into Gas Street and New Junction kind of area of Birmingham. And uh, I'm hoping that that is going to be better than what we've had so far because up to now it has been a nightmare in fairness it's been a nightmare more for Louise than it has been for me because I've been inside trying to do some work and Lou's been uh, steering the boat but it's rained um, which we need we need the water so we can't complain about that it just doesn't make it pleasant and the water levels are so low and we've been grounding out struggling getting around bends just fouling around the prop every five ten minutes it's been a nightmare so hopefully the Worcester and Birmingham is going to be better what about you Lou what do you reckon oh I'm hoping so <laughs> right let's see what Worcester Birmingham has to bring
Well, morning. What a morning. What an evening we had last night. Um, we mowed up, uh, well, we tried to get into Gas Street. We couldn't get in Gas Street. Went round to the old turn. They were full, but we were late on. But just under the bridge, there was a mooring, perfect size for us. So we jumped on that. And what a lovely mooring. Really quiet, considering that we're in the centre of Birmingham. It was a quiet mooring and lovely and quiet this morning. So yeah, really pleased with that. It's a bit of a working day today. Um, Lou, as you can probably tell, because the engine's running and we're cruising, she's steering the boat at the moment. That's giving me time to make up some more orders because orders are coming in thick and fast. And with moving the boat, trying to make stock for shores it's it just absolutely full on at the moment so we've got this going on the workshop at the minute we've got some leather wet molded for anti-vandal pouches uh, we've got some recycled copper which is ready returned to be turned into some of our copper bracelets that we make um, we've got windlass holders ready for stitching if I take you through into here, we've got some mugs that are pre-done, ready, so that we can get them in the mug press once we can get the generator on later, get some mugs made up. We've got some material cut, these are for our um, lead covers that say, you know, I need space, because since we've shown them in the vlog, they've been selling really well we haven't got them on the website yet so email us if you're interested but they're selling like hotcakes and obviously underneath we've got more material for our doggy cushions so we've got as you can see quite a lot of prints there for doggy cushions and I've got to stitch all those and make them into dog cushions and now the kettle's boiling so we're in the uh, first lock of the day, there's three locks to get us up and kind of out of Birmingham. So Lou's up there somewhere, just uh, getting ready to fill us up. Uh, get through these three and then that's it, we're uh, straight off to our final destination. And I'm very surprised, um, yes it's a bit weedy we've come this way, but the water is absolutely crystal clear. And there's not a lot of rubbish floating around on the top of the water. Yes you can see there is water down there, uh, rubbish down there at the bottom, because the water is that clear you can see the bottom. But yeah, it, it's a, a nice pleasant trip. It's completely different to what I anticipated it being, put it that way. Well, morning, and it's a very early morning. It's six o'clock in the morning, and we're in a retail park, but don't worry, Laird Bryan's still here. We're just on this little arm, and it is only little. The main canal's there, and there's enough to fit two boats on this little arm here. And we're at Bentley Bridge, something like that and it's there's a retail park here and there's a little arm and we managed to stay here last night today is the last day we're heading into Brownells today the reason we're up early is the amount of weed um, and just the going is so bad um, we've spoke to other traders that have already made it there and yeah it is tiptoeing someone i think someone actually did i read on facebook last night four and a half hours to do a two hour cruise um we ground to a halt yesterday 
Um, we had so much weed, rubbish on the prop that we actually ground to a halt. We had no propulsion at all. We was dead in the water in the middle of the canal. And that took about 10 minutes to get the boat over to the banking, just so we could actually tie up and, and get down the weed hatch. So we thought, well, if we set off early, at least we've got some time to get there. Because it should be from here four or five hours but with all the, the weed stops and weed hatch visits it could be a lot more than that so we're gonna get going and uh, see how we go so fingers crossed let's get to Brown Hills so I went through we've already had our first trip down the weed hatch we've been going about 40 minutes and uh, we've got bike inner tubes, plastic bag and weed round it. Um, and as you can probably see, there's nowhere in between for it stops, so we've had to do it and float down the middle of the canal. Uh, trying to keep the boat central so we don't drift into more weed once we've cleared it and then have to start up in weed. So that's number one weed hatch visit for the day. Well, we've managed to get about 200 yards further on and we've just done our second weed hatch visit of the day. Um, this is going to be a very long cruise if we're having to do it every couple of hundred yards. And it's a shame really because it's such a lovely canal. You know, the, the scenery, it's such a picturesque canal. It's, it's a beautiful canal. It's just absolutely covered in weed. The water levels are down, so that's not going to help matters either. Um, but we're not that far down. There's probably only three, four inch lower than normal, but you know that might make all the difference. So at the moment we're just in tick over because we're going nowhere. Uh, it's that time again. You can see all the wash is coming out of here and it's supposed to be coming out from there. We've got rubbish on the prop again. Which means it's another weed hatch trip. Tell you what, this show really had better be worth it. Because this is a nightmare. That was very nearly a strip down to your underpants and get in job. <laughs> and had to be. You know, we've had three days heat wave where we've been 30 odd degrees and you would quite happily get in. But today it's cold, it's drizzly. Not the day you want to be going in, is it? <sighs> Let's try that. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> well, what a nightmare we're having. Not only are we struggling with the weed, the alternator belt has now gone. So Gareth's trying to fix that and we are just floating in the canal where there's weed, all sorts. It's ridiculous. What a nightmare. Right. 
I think I've calmed down enough now that uh, I can actually do a piece to camera. We've just made it to the service point. Now this service point was two hours journey away from where we set off this morning. We set off about half past, well about 20 past six this morning. It's now half past 10. So it's took just over four hours to do a two hour journey. And we're not even halfway there yet. Nowhere near halfway yet. But what I will say, Blue holds the camera for me. What I will say is carry a spur alternator belt all the time. I checked my alternator belt and there was no sign of it being slack, couldn't see any signs of it being worn, but it has. So luckily we keep spurs. So a uh, bit of a pain floating down the canal repairing it because there was nowhere to pull up but at least we can repair it and we can get underway again. So uh, yeah, if you haven't got one, get one. We need to get another one now. Yep. Top of the to-do list. Well, after get to Brown Hills eventually at some point today. If we get to Brown Hills. Right, are we ready? Yeah, Come let's on. go. Well, good evening and welcome to Brownhills. We arrived yesterday afternoon after one heck of a slog. It's been eventful to get here. Um, that's, yeah, eventful, we'll use that word. It's been emotional. <laughs> um, we've traveled since we left Stort Bruin. Um, probably the best part of a hundred miles and around 81 locks to get here and we've done that in about five days so we've uh, you know we've not been hanging around it's been uh, it's been quite intense we've had all the weed we've had the uh, the broken uh, fan belt um, yeah it's it's been emotional but we're here and we're set up we've spent most of today making more stock uh setting the bolts up ready for tomorrow and the festival starts tomorrow so uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow there's a whiskey inside with my name on it i'm going to bring my feet up now and uh chilling ready for a very busy day tomorrow fingers crossed morning Time for Brown Hills Festival. Thanks, Shadow. And here we are. Brown Hills Festival in full swing. It's been a really good morning. It's nice and busy. Let's go and have a look around.
Good morning. It's uh, Monday morning, and uh, well, you can probably tell we didn't film anything yesterday on the Sunday. It's just too busy, um, too busy, and yeah, dealing with customers. Just not really got the time to uh, to film. But what an event! Wow, we'll definitely be back to this one absolutely awesome fantastic event great atmosphere and uh, and we did all right but it broke us we are absolutely shattered um, yeah really really worn out after this weekend um, so it was an early night last night and a fairly early start this morning and that's because we're getting fuel but we're still in brown hills and this is all down to uh, one of our subscribers, uh, Bob. So if you're watching this, Bob, thank you very much. And he managed to, well, I spoke to him because he's local to this area and I was asking, is there anywhere that we can get diesel around here? Because we're in and around the Birmingham area because we're doing the Black Country Festival. Uh, and he's managed to get us in touch um, with this company, 123 Oil that has very kindly um, got a van down with a hose and uh, is supplying I think five or six boats this morning uh, with diesel so um, yeah it's come to us it's fantastic uh, it's a really good price too so uh, yeah if you're up this way and you're in need of diesel give these guys a ring and see if they can help me out So we're on the move, not really going anywhere today, um, we were moored up just back that way um, and we're heading off that way but we're going to head uh, to our next location tomorrow um, but for today we're going to go down to the junction and wind so that we're pointing the right way for where we want to go tomorrow uh, and it just saves having to do that first thing in the morning. Um, if the journey going back that way is anything like it was coming here it's going to be about eight nine hours as it is so putting this little bit of a journey today means it's shorter tomorrow it's just a nice little hop down to the junction 
So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Lou's still up though. She's minding the spot and chatting to people. So uh, just me and the dogs doing this trip. <laughs>